What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're going to focus on a Boston Bruins prospect, Tori Krug, who's currently skating with the Providence Bruins of the AHL, where he's got 29 points through 50 games. Uh, young, undersized offensive defenseman. You know, the three year player of Michigan State, and his numbers got better every year. He was there 21 points, 28 points, 34 points. And uh, his penalty minutes also uh, actually went down every year. But he's still got some tenacity in his game, which is like, what you like to see from a young, a smaller defenseman. You know, the little, the Ferentz clone, even though he's not as tenacious, but much better offensively as the, uh, the Bruins defenseman. He actually played two games with the Bruins last year at the end of his Michigan State season. Had one assist in two games, skated with him uh, pretty much every day yeah, during the playoffs and everything. He couldn't play in the playoffs because he wasn't on the reserve list, but they definitely could use his power play quarterbacking abilities. And I think they stole him as an undrafted free agent. I mean, he's made tremendous strides. He uh, was hurt when the lockout was ending, so we didn't get really a look to make the Bruins this year, but he's you know, taking the ball and run with it down to Providence with 29 points in 250 games. Like I said, really just improved himself defensively and uh, you know rounded out his game you know, in all all facets. That's what you like to see. You know, you, you, you want to get, you want to see the younger guys get better every time they're out there. And uh, he's done just that. I mean, he's still got a ways to go, but you know, for an undrafted free agent, he's come a long way. And I think he's going to continue to uh, to push for roster spot in Boston sooner rather than later. I mean, they got some defense from his contracts dropped this year. Farron's actually been one of them. And I'd love to see him out there, you know, in your second, third power, play, your second power play unit, and on your, like your third defense pair, and you know, limit his. Uh, liabilities offensively, but also give him uh, an opportunity to succeed offensively. And, uh, you know, given the fact that Bruins' power, because like I said, it's been subpar to say the least the last couple of years, they can use uh, that spark. And, uh, like I said, the big thing is he's improved, and I think that's cool to see. And, um, you know, I think he's going to continue to get better. I mean, a lot of smaller defensemen have, have done great over the years. Brian Rafalski being one of them, fellow uh, CCHA guy. But, you know, I think Boston made the right move signing him. Uh, everyone talked last year about the two Western Michigan undrafted free agent defensemen and Danny DeKaiser and uh, Matt Tennyson, but Krug might go on to be even better both, than both of them. You know, I think one thing that killed him was the size. He's five foot nine, but you know he's going to continue to get better. And uh, the Bruins have a uh, have quite a gem on their hands, and I think the time in Providence has definitely helped them. You know, you, playing right away in the NHL to playing in college is awesome, but you really need to refine yourself and playing a system that suits. Uh, not necessarily your needs statistically, but suits an improvement in your game. And uh, he's done just that this year. And like I said, with Ferris's contract up, I think he'll definitely push him for a spot next year for sure. And, uh, you know, I think he's ahead of Wasowski and ahead of uh, a couple of the other guys. I mean, put it the way, he's their second best defense prospect behind Dougie Hamilton. And Dougie's pretty much one of the second, first or second defense pairing all year So in Boston. So that's uh, that's how highly they think of Mr. Krug, the Michigan State product. Anyway, that's all on this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Tory Krug of the Providence Bruins. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.